Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I've been skating since I was about eight years old, so about 15 years now, because I'm 23. I recently just turned pro for blind. Building about a three and a half foot quarter pipe right here, about seven feet wide, and then uh, we're building a seven foot long ledge, about a foot high. It's gonna be a sick little palace, you know? Be able to skate this ledge whenever you want. It's gonna be a ledge into bank actually as well. We're putting a little bank there so you can like land, and then you could like hit the quarter pipe and then go back up. Go back, go back. Me and Ryan Scoot, we all jackhammered out all of this cement from here all the way to there. It took a good four or five hours. Definitely hurt my back at the end of the day. <laughs> well, let me see if I got some photos. Just me giving her. There's me. <laughs> Had to take a couple funny ones. I've worked construction back in Canada since I was about 16 or 17 for my uncle's company that he runs. I used to do a bunch of other stuff as well. I did like ceramic tiles, hardwood floors, painting, you know, framing. I did it all. And I just kind of felt that skating was the pursuit that I wanted to do, and I ended up just sticking with that. And I ended up making it, so I'm super excited about it, and super stoked, and just can't wait to see what's next. I usually end up trying to get a brand new board on the day before I actually skate, so I'm kind of used to it, or if not, I'll just rock a brand new one. It just depends on the day and the contest and how I feel, really. Yeah, I skated in it last year. Uh, I don't know how what I qualified or whatnot, but um, I felt like I did pretty good. I was super excited on my performance, so I'm hoping that I can do as good as last time and then. I'll be psyched regardless, you know, if I don't even win anything. I'm just glad to be out there skating with all my friends and being able to skate. Water, check. Cane, check. Shoes, check. Boards, check. Do I got my extra board? Yep. Uh, I'm ready to go. You got everything, Rock? You got two boards? You have to hit a bullseye. Before we leave the house. Oh. Traffic suck, dude. It's just brutal. I'm so sore right now. Oh, I skated too much yesterday. <laughs> it was just so overwhelming right when I walked in. I was just like, holy crap, this place is huge. Ah! This is gonna be a crazy one this year. Oh, this is pretty wild. <laughs> it's in a theater, man. Last year it was on top of a roof of a hotel, and now it's this. What's gonna be next year, dude? <laughs> I tried to skate the course right when we got there, or Red Bull let us skate it for a little bit just to kind of figure things out and get warmed up. skated for like 10 or 15 minutes and I was like okay I don't want to wear myself out before six o'clock comes so I just chilled till practice and then practice was six till 6 30. I was gonna try and go skate I did maybe like one or two tricks but there's like 85 skaters contesting in the contest and I was just like way too overwhelmed I was like every time I try there would be someone going right behind me or vice versa, I'm going right behind someone else and then I try a trick and then I get in their way or they get in mine and I just couldn't deal with it. I was just like, this is chaos. I'm just gonna chill until my heat and then just go for it and hope for the best.
sometimes I don't really try to do all my tricks that I'm practicing before the actual contest because then that means I just like lose half of my flick all the time because I'm practicing it so much that I don't actually want to consistently land it every single try. If I'm in a contest and I haven't tried it yet, but I know I can do it, I just fully commit to it and it ends up working out better for me. I ended up qualifying. TJ Rogers up in the mix, top 10. There's all these guys trying like the hardest trick down the triple set line. I did that last year and I didn't really come up at all. And then I was talking to the judges and I asked them and I said, hey, is, what's the judging format like? And they said, well, it's a triple set contest. You know, like it, obviously the rails and the ledges have factors, but it's a triple set contest. So I just kept saying that to myself and I was like, okay, make sure that I do a lot of tricks on the set and then do some stuff on the rail and the hubba as well to make sure that I get the variety of everything that the contest has to offer. So I did that and then I just kept putting it together just keep doing all the tricks that I know I can do first try, second try, and I ended up lucking out and getting all of them, and I was like, what? Well, hopefully, you know, I come top three or whatever, it makes no difference. I've had a great day, that's all I plan on doing, you know? Just making sure that I had a great time while I was out there with my friends. Everyone killed it up Donovan. there today, man. Show me. Nervous. <laughs> Show me. We'll see. Oh, all right. Kelvin. Let's hear it. Third place, Kevin Hoffler, all the way from Brazil. <laughs> Come on down, player. <laughs> oh, my God. This kid is such a player from Canada. Mickey Papa. I love this kid. Mickey, where are you at, player? Okay. RDS. I, I got it, man. Yeah, oh, well. Canada. Yeah, there you go, Mickey. Congrats. Yeah. First place goes to none other than Red Bull Team Rider, TJ Rogers. Oh, oh my God. God. This kid oh, is on fire. Thank I'm so you. hungry. Oh, Killed it. Let's hear it, TJ Rogers. First place, TJ. Thanks again, everybody, for coming out. Red Bull Triple Set. We'll see you next time. So we we're here at the Red Bull Triple Set Contest in San Diego. We just finished up. Uh, I ended up taking first place, surprisingly. I'm super excited about it. This is my one! <laughs> That's so sick! How rad is it that TJ won the contest? I told him he was going to win right from the start. I kept telling him, you're going to win. You're going to win. You're going to murder it. And then, and then he won. Didn't seem like a big deal. He needed it, he, and he deserved it, so I'm super hyped that he won. And then when they called me to the podium, I was just like, what? It's like, wait, I didn't get third, I didn't get second, I got first? What? I was just like so stoked, I didn't know what to say or do. I was just like, yeah, I was speechless, my face just was like all pitch red, and I was just like, oh my god, this is awesome. Yeah, it's been great ever since, man. It just always has been, always will be. Just doing what I desire in life, and not too many people get to do that, so. Now that I'm able to do what I desire, skate for a living, do everything I've ever wanted, it's a dream come true, you know? Can't be any happier with my life these days. So, yeah, just keep moving, keep plugging towards the next goal, and then hopefully, hope for the best for whatever happens next. It's gonna be a good one, I can't wait.